Hello and welcome to ND TV. I'm Rohit Chilnani. Well, who's that? Firstly, uh, is Rohan Joshi not around? Hello. I'm 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 so sorry. My assistant just had to send some emails. Uh, <laughs> so so you know I just sorry. Uh, of course, just, very, very hard cool. to control him. Very hard to control him. Very cool assistant, I have to say. He is adorable. I have to say. I have to say. Very very adorable. Great right. great work ethic. Um, occasionally may eat creatures that are around you, but great work ethic. Great. We have to talk about your assistant later in the show as well. Uh, yes. Guys, it's May the 4th. It's a big day for Star Wars fans. Uh, if you go through our social media, you will see uh, pictures of merchandise, posters, favorite movies, favorite characters. So we have the biggest geek of Star Wars, Rohan Joshi, who Hello. we all love because he makes us laugh all the time. Welcome to NDTV, Rohan. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. May the 4th be with you. Thank you, and uh, we, you know, you're a big Star Wars fan and a popular geek. We will put that to test for our viewers, okay, and okay. also um, you can make it slightly simpler for our viewers who know these names, know they've heard of these movies and characters, but may not have followed and may follow after this interview. Yes. So, are Absolutely. you ready for the test? I am. I am ready. I am ready. I am ready for this test. Um, I feel. I feel like an anxious Padawan. This could go either way. <laughs> We have taken you back to school. The well, first question is about today. Uh, why is May 4th special? What's the big deal? Why do they keep saying that? So um, one of the most popular sayings in the Star Wars universe, which is something that uh, the Jedi like to say is may the force be with you. Okay. And uh, the force is, of course, the uh, mystical sort of power that sort of runs as the backbone of the Star Wars universe that certain people can tap into. And right. uh, by by pure coincidence, uh, May the 4th sounds like May the Force. Right. So that's why May the 4th is seen in Star Wars Day where people look at each other and say, May the 4th be with you. Uh, and right, yeah. I think it's cute. I think it, it, it's mm. exactly the sort of cute little thing that any fandom likes to take and really <laughs> run with. And I think I think it's awesome. Are you, are you someone who waits for this date and posts something from you know your history? Oh, absolutely. Like either something from my history or just something related to Star Wars, okay. uh, things like that. I'm actually very happy to say um, that uh, this year, uh, some, so I'm, I'm getting together with some friends. They very kindly invited me and we're actually going to be doing a live table read for um, an audience wow. uh, of um, uh, Star Wars A New Hope. And Amazing. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, so here comes the second question. In 2019, uh, Star Wars introduced uh, the popular character Baby Yoda. Now, yes. what is Baby Yoda's real name and how old is Baby Yoda? So Baby Yoda, if I'm not mistaken, first of all, is already established to be about 60, 70 years old. Because if okay. I'm not mistaken, the race lives for right. hundreds and hundreds of years. Mm. Uh, and also his name is not Baby Yoda. As was revealed, a uh, spoiler alert for anybody. Uh, okay. You want to close your? I'm, I'm going to do this with ears closed every time <laughs> I give spoiler information, okay. so people can turn away from their uh, computer if they need to. Uh, as was revealed in season two of The Mandalorian, uh, right. Baby Yoda's name is actually Grogu, and okay. uh, yes, it is. He's he's Grogu. He's not Baby Yoda, and uh, that is his name. And he is about 50, 60 years old when wow. we sort of first meet him. Much older than both of us. Oh, wait. I mean, not that much older than me, unfortunately. <laughs> I wish he was a little older. I wish I could say he was a little older. But um, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting yeah. there. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> right. Um, okay. For those who don't know, what is okay. the First Order? I've heard this everywhere. Okay. So the First Order is something that um, I think a lot of people probably sort of heard of for the first time when the sequels uh, were announced, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. uh, because at least that is my sort of first popular memory okay. of it. Uh, they're essentially the thing that arose from the ashes of the Galactic Empire. Mm -hmm. And sort of when we have this new Republic, uh, the Jedi and the Rebels won and they tried to establish this new Democratic mm -hmm. Republic. Mm -hmm. And the First Order uh, harkens to sort of bring back uh, the ways of the old Galactic Empire. So, um, you know, in a, in, a, in a way you can say they're like a sort of neo-cult that sort of worships <laughs> The earlier, uh, the earlier empire, and right. uh, they are in the sequels. Of course, uh, their nominal leader is uh, among one of their leaders is Kylo Ren. Uh, wow. Among okay. Things and yeah, and so they're 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 essentially a, a, in a way, I think the simplest way to explain it is that they're they're the beginnings of another empire. Okay. Okay. Got right. it. They're the beginnings of another evil empire. Right. I'm very distracted by your cat. Very cute cat behind you. So. Uh, <laughs> My bad oh. one. 
right here. <laughs> right. So, um, what, what, and so you told us about the first order. What is order 66? Oh, order 60. I'm getting, oh man, I literally got actual goosebumps <laughs> just when you said it. Um, order 66 is, of course, the event in which the prequels mm. culminate, which is basically something that is hinted at in the original movies. Uh, when the okay. original movies start, um, they start very much in the aftermath of this huge event where right. you get the sense that all the Jedi were exterminated, okay. literally exterminated and cleansed from the face of the galaxy mm. by the Sith and their underlings. And Order 66 is the actual physical order that okay. was given to the clone troopers. Uh, okay. Because, and again, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm going deeper into the rabbit hole here, but... But the idea in the prequels is that uh, the sort of progenitors of the stormtroopers that we know and sort of are very familiar with in Star Wars iconography, right. uh, they, they come from the clone soldiers who were created okay. in the prequel as an army for the Empire. They're literally clones. Now, these clones were sinisterly programmed with an order, okay. which they didn't even know about, which when was triggered, when literally Palpatine said the words execute order 66, mm -hmm. a switch flipped in their heads that made them turn to the nearest Jedi that was with them and execute them oh basically. My God. And, okay. and there's this bone chilling sequence uh, in the, uh, in revenge of the Sith where order 66 is executed and you actually see uh, the sort of removal of the Jedi uh, from the universe. And, and, and it, it's a horrific event and okay. essentially leads to the Sith being dominant. And which is what they are when we right. actually first meet them in the original Star Wars movie. Mm -hmm. And Order 66 is essentially the beginning of the, or rather the beginning of the end for the Jedi. Incredible that you know all this. Uh, you're clearly a fan. It's only it's a not... little sad. It's only a little sad. Only a little. It's amazing. As a grown ass man. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, so on this day, we also see people putting on the Instagram and everywhere lightsabers. Now, yes. how many lightsaber colors are there? What do they represent and which one is your favorite? So now there's multiple lightsaber colors, right? Like okay. in the sense, I think in the first continuity, what we saw was we saw blue, we saw blue. red. Right. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Luke got green, that very mm. sort of iconic uh, mm. green saber, which again deployed to great effect in season two of The Mandalorian. Right. And uh, But they also have been multiple colors over the years. Like there's great stories, right? Mm. Like Again, I have no idea how true or false the story is. But apparently one of Samuel L. Jackson's entire conditions right. for signing on to the Star Wars franchise, he played Mace Windu in the prequels. Hmm. He was like, I want my lightsaber to be a cool <laughs> color. And so George Lucas basically went, all right, you know what? You can, you can have a purple saber. Uh, again, we're going into spoiler territory here. For people who want to cover right. their ears. At the end of the sequels, if I'm not mistaken, Ray also ends up with a lightsaber. Okay. That's a sort of yellowish color okay. um, that essentially shows that She's neither sort of Jedi nor Sith and is maybe the Sith, something new, mm -hmm. uh, sort of new way of sort of reimagining the force. And other yeah. than that, if I'm not mistaken, there have also been many colors, but I feel like the dominant themes that have played out in the Star Wars that the Jedi use some version of blue or light colors right. and the Sith. Uh, use red. I am not going to get into the origin of lightsabers and how right. lightsaber colors. Your favorite, are your favorite. Which oh, one? my favorite yeah. saber. Okay. I think just in terms of badassery, right? Uh, I think in the year, I think it was 1999, right. uh, when we saw Darth Maul with that mm. double-sided red saber, mm. <laughs> I think it blew my mind as a 16-year-old. Wow. I'm like, oh my God, a lightsaber can have two sides. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> right. This changes everything. So right. I, think, I think for me, yeah, I think it would have to be the Maul saber for sure. Right. And I've also enjoyed building. So there's a game called Fallen Order. Hmm. which you can build and customize your own saber where you can give it, it's wow. like what, uh, you can give it a handle of your choice and a color and yes. all of those things. And I'm quite attached to that one as well. Okay. I have a green saber in that oh, game, which I'm quite it. attached to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. So you know, till now the questions were simple. Now uh, your answers were geeky. Oh, they were simple so far. The answers were geeky enough, but now the questions yes. will become geeky now. Okay. 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 Let's go with the next one. According to the emperor, what was Luke Skywalker's weakness? He had a weakness. What was that? Um, it was his, it was sort of the fact that he believed in his friends, right? Yes. I think, because I think it's the way of the Sith to sort of see compassion as weakness, <laughs> uh, because the Sith sort of operate in that area of it, it, it's your compassion that makes you weak. 
right. we do not possess that. We are purged of all compassion, and we are purged of all of those things as a result mm-hmm. of which we have no weakness. Right. So I think the thing, Absolutely. and and I think the thing that uh, the emperor thought he could use to turn Luke to the mm-hmm. dark side was to exploit that compassion and get him to sort of use that faith in his friends and that compassion for his friends um, into doing something horrible. Right. Which Luke, of course, resists because he's a Skywalker. So that yeah, is true. That was his faith in his friends. Absolutely. That was his faith right. in his friends, which weirdly enough was not a weakness in the end, as we found yeah. out, but was his strength. Right. Um, so now talking about Chewbacca, who we all feel like just hugging. Yes, um, and and uh, what? Uh, who first played Chewbacca? This goes Chewbacca long. in the suit was Peter Mayhew, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. Peter yes. Mayhew was Chewbacca. And um, I know we all want to hug him, but uh, <laughs> right now, I mean, you're in Mumbai also, right? Yeah, so, yeah. so if you look outside your window right now, both of us are basically living in Tatooine. Yeah. Um, and I don't think either of us want to spend too long hugging a hairy hugging. furry beast. Yes, because yes. in fact, b- before we sat down for this, I was going to, I have a Chewbacca hoodie that oh I was going God. to wear. Oh. And I was like, you know, there are some things that even my AC can't <laughs> help with. So I just decided to go for this t-shirt. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your cat would be wondering who is this and what is this? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I would just be sweating. So, right. So this is this is better, I think. This is much better. This okay. Is much, much better. Who is the Millennium Falcon and what is its claim to fame? So it's not who, right? It's a what? what? The Millennium the Millen the Millen group. The Millennium yeah. Falcon. For people who don't know, you're talking to a yes. news channel audience who may not know. Yes. So explain yes. to them. Right. So so the great thing about science fiction and fantasy and genres like that is right. Mm. Um, there's always room in a story like Star Wars for a cool spaceship. Right. And at the end of the day, what the Millennium Falcon is, is it's just mm. a cool spaceship. Okay. Uh, that's the simple way. It belongs to Han Solo. Right. Uh, he won it in nefarious ways, uh, which we will not get into because he was, as <laughs> right. everybody knows, Galaxy's ultimate rascal. Right. And um, and it, its claim to fame is that what? It did the Kessel run in under 12 parsecs or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, right? yeah, was yeah. It Absolutely claim right. To fame? Yes. Which is also one of the little inaccuracies uh, that people have pointed out to in the Star mm-hmm. Wars universe because uh, parsec is not actually a unit of time. It's a unit of distance. <laughs> so how, how do you complete the Kessel run in 12 parsecs? But it's one of those things that fans have gone, you know what? That's yeah. fine. <laughs> That's fine. We'll just, we'll just go with this. We'll let you come up with things and there are people like you who will pa- point out all these things, right? And we, we point, but, but you know what? It comes from a place of love, right? Yes. Because we recognize oh. that this is essentially like, you know, just like space fantasy and space opera and and there are certain things that if you try to sit down and really try to get into the nitty gritties and logic and science of it, right. you won't enjoy anything. Hmm. Right? Suspension Absolutely. of disbelief yeah. and everything. So yes, the Millennium Falcon. Did so the good. You have helped our viewers to understand it's not who, it's what. It's a yes. cool spaceship. It's a very oh. cool spaceship. Okay. What kind of a weapon does Han Solo carry? Yeah, he's one of those blaster guns, right? Um, what's it called? I actually... I know it's like a laser blaster pistol. Yes, it is a pistol. Okay, it is a pistol. Do you know, like, or do you have the answer to the actual name? I have, it's the L44 pistol. Oh, wow, I did not know that. Thank you. You have taught me something new today. (laughs) That's awesome. I now have an extra piece of trivia to to lord (laughs) it over my Star Wars friends. Right. Okay, so now comes the uh, the, this question, which uh, which I got an answer. I'll also tell you the answer. Tell me if it's correct or not. What is BBY and ABY? Uh, On Uh social media, people say it's before Baby Yoda, after Baby Yoda. So simple. No, it is not that simple. It is not that simple. Those people are wrong. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to get controversial, mm. but they are wrong. Okay. Uh, because uh, ABY, BBY is, it's essentially like BC AD for us okay. uh, right. in chronology. So okay. it's uh, before the Battle of Yavin and oh. after the Battle okay. of Yavin. Okay. Because that was essentially, if I'm not mistaken, the battle that sort of caps off the original three movies. Wow. And the Star Wars universe is sort of crept into everything that happened before that and everything that happened after that because the universe mm. fundamentally changed as a result of that. So, um, yeah, it is the Battle of Yavin. Okay, so it's not yeah. before Baby Yoda. Sorry. It is not. Though, you know what? I, I, it's a, I can see a good argument for making it that as well because, mm-hmm. I mean, he is adorable. Uh, yeah, have you met my <laughs> second? I have a second Baby Yoda. I'm, oh, my God. I'm so lame. I don't have really one. Adorable. I have two. I have two. I have one that sits right here at my computer every day while I work. Do you want to give one away or no? And just, I, I, that's not a thing, man. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm sorry. Cool. It's not a thing. 
but it's very cute it's uh, very cute. okay okay so this is uh, this is the last of the geeky question um but you have so far done very well i have to say what were obi wan's last word to darth vader if you strike me down i shall become more powerful than you can ever imagine well so done does, and then he does and you know, if, if i had just audio i would be like who with this movie has started well done <laughs> well done you passed with flying colors in this but we are not done with you okay, because okay. for my you know, one question for anyone watching will be like rohan kab se ye kar rahe ho that you know all this since when are you into all this bahut bahut pehle se okay. uh, in the sense that uh, when i was very young uh, right. very randomly before i saw any movie before i saw anything एक दोस्त के घर पे उसके बड़े भाई के पास ही रिमेन्स ऑफ लाइक sort of wreck the wreckage and the smoke billowing behind him like on the right. way and he's looking badass now I'm like what is this uh how old were you i was i think at this point i could not have been older than 10 or 11 honestly <laughs> wow. like i don't think i could have been older than 10 or 11 when i saw that i'm like hey this looks cool, cool. and uh, i was like the imagery is damn cool and then this friend sort of older brother said okay you know this is star wars this is this thing this is yoda <laughs> so this guy walker this is all that and i'm like this damn cool i have to see this and then the vhs library down the road used to yeah. have the movies on vhs right. and right. i watched them and i was like man this is cool <laughs> like this is just really really cool and i and I, and again i'll be honest there was a curve with that i saw okay. the first film and i was like okay theek hai cool story like it's great mm. then i saw the empire strikes back Mm. <laughs> uh and that is a movie i think without fail i will go back to and watch once every 2 years wow. because it, it's one of those classics is, right like is. in the sense it's one of those movies there are a few movies that that just hold up you can watch them yeah. at any point in time like you know you watch jurassic park today holds yeah. up you yeah. watch terminator 2 today holds up right. you watch empire strikes back today and that movie is it's flawless it's it it's is. as close you can get to a flawless movie um as possible in terms of screenplay in terms of how thrilling it is mm-hmm. and again for the first time in my life the thing that blew my mind like to not today chal we live in a universe that has like you know george r r martin and all of mm. those things so we're used to things like that but as a kid empire strikes back was the first movie i ever saw in which the good guys didn't win right right it ends in this weird sort of place where the bad guys have the upper hand that attracted you that more than attracted me i remember just being surprised by it okay, right because yeah. you're as a that. child yeah. you're so used to just simple moral tales where it's like good guy bad guy good triumphs yeah. right it's as simple as that yeah. and here yeah. for the first time because I, it it happens and all these horrible things happen and luke skywalker loses an arm and he finds out like some <laughs> horrible and critical information about who his father is and and han solo's been like imprisoned uh, yeah, in carbonite yeah. and all of these things and then the movie just ends right and a part of me was like like <laughs> did, did, was the climax <laughs> cut or something like that like kya kya hua yeah, like, yeah. like surely there's a whole other half hour where they go uh, rescue him and do all of that and and i can't imagine what it must have been like when the movie's first came out where people had to wait for like a good 3 yeah, hours yeah. to find out how that story resolves itself true true right luckily i could just take out the cassette and put the next cassette in <laughs> and find out which made my life very easy great but i forgot to ask you one question yes. um who is obi wan kenobi i've read who is, this, yeah who is in case obi- there's we have viewers who don't know he is he's like the og jedi like there have right. been many jedi that have come and gone since then but mm-hmm. old ben kenobi was right. the first sort of wise gandalf like figure that we met Right. in the star wars universe right he yeah. he's, he's the one that guides luke he's the one that advises him and now he's going to be in a new show which comes okay. out on disney plus hotstar i think on the 27th of may right. it will be a two episode premiere okay if i'm not yes. mistaken uh, and it's in english hindi tamil telugu malayalam all of those things so i'm quite excited because i think that his story is one where there's a natural storytelling hole right mm. what was obi wan kenobi doing between the prequels where he became one of the few jedi that survived the purge and order right. 
and when we meet him or when luke first meets him in star wars a new hope mm-hmm. um what was this sort of dashing brilliant jedi doing like was he really mm-hmm. just sitting in a hut in the forest uh, mm-hmm. sorry in the desert or um was he up to more and i think that 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 should be a fun thing for the the show to explore that's great news for the fans uh, rohan thank you so much uh, you, you you know this is just a true fan talking to our viewers directly and making it simple for them uh, for the geeks of course and for those uh, who may not know everything thank you very much my pleasure and may the force be with you thank you